What's up YouTube? Rawsaw HD here. It's been a while since I've been on. Um, we got another project uh, to, to work on today. We're going to do some ceiling panels, uh, acoustic panels for the ceiling. Uh, also with some LED light strips backlit that I can control. So this way, you know, if I want the, that glow above my head, I can have it or I can just turn it off. But the ceiling panels will help with the sound anyway. Uh, so what I have here, three sets of light strips. Uh, I wasn't really sure what to get, and I'd rather be safe than sorry. I wanted these Wi-Fi transmitters on them, and they'll all be hidden behind the, the, the um, panel itself. We got some hooks uh, for, to hang it and suspend it from the ceiling. Some drywall anchors just to get it in there in case I don't hit a stud. Some 2x3s, 2x4s. Uh, I'm going to make these a little thinner, so I have a lot more sound insulation here. But I'm going to just bring this down about half width, and then I have about 6 yards of black material. So what I have to do now is kind of assemble these, these uh, 1x3s. One by, one by so I'm going to actually take them outside. I have my saw set up outside today. I'm not going to re rearrange the camera. But basically these panels are going to be 4 feet by 4 feet. So I'm going to cut them down. One side will be 48 inches, uh, two pieces, and the other side will subtract. I think this, it's like three, it's, uh, three quarters of an inch, so we'll be taking another inch and a half off, I believe. I'll, I'll remeasure it outside, but pretty simple stuff so that I have a four foot by four foot uh, box, basically. Um, I'm going to pause the camera now. When I come back, we'll have these cut for you, so we'll see you shortly. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button. Like, give me the thumbs up. You know the drill. See you shortly. Okay, YouTube, uh, you don't see it now, but I have the rest of them cut outside. I got to, had to go a little smaller than 48 inches because I didn't take into account the material is 54. And once you add the side and the top to staple, I'd be cutting it real close. So what I did is I'm going to do them 46 inches square. All right, uh, my tape, my LED tape is 16 feet long, so I was kind of hoping 48 inches. Obviously, each side gives me 16 feet. It would have been exact, but we'll have to overlap slightly. I don't think it'll be, be a big deal, at least I hope not, or like a bright spot coming out of the corner. What I'm going to kind of do here, and I'm just showing you, again, I'm doing this outside. We're going to connect these, kind of like this, and I'll drill two pilot holes, and we'll sink these screws in. I have two-inch screws, inch and five-eighths. You want it at least, these are three-quarters of an inch wide, so you want at least an inch and a half or longer. So an inch and a half to two-inch screws. So I'll do two in each side. I also have 45 uh, angle pieces cut, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use them because... I still need to fit the tape, the insulation, and I'm on a side note, on that insulation, I'm going to actually kind of cut it in half, so it's, it's only about maybe an inch, inch and a half thick. It, this isn't for some major sound absorption, but more for a little of both, some sound absorption and the effect with the, the LED, so I, I don't need, you know, three, four, five inches of it. Uh, so I'm going to go outside and actually put the, the three of these together, uh, and then I will resume shortly all right so we'll see you in a minute youtube subscribe all right youtube we're back as you can see i made three of these it's about 92 degrees out today so i'm dying i don't know how far i'm going to get today because we've had a three-day weekend here uh, work has been really busy ever since i get back got back from this covid uh where we were shut down it's been non-stop it's why i haven't really made any videos lately um, I just had no time, but this weekend I was doing some outdoor projects. This heat's been killer out there, so today I was doing these. But again, kind of bring this a little bit closer here. Kind of put it like that. As you can see, the 46 by 46. I have these corner, these corner blocks in there. This will be the, the the facing the the floor side. So I'll put the insulation in, and it's going to be thin, like I said, about an inch, and I'll do the strip right around the the edge. Um, but my, my next thing would be to upholster these. I'm going to take a sanding block to kind of knock off some of these really sharp edges. Uh, I used to do upholstering 30 years ago with my uncle. Uh, we don't want anything to kind of poke through. So I'm going to just, just to run it over a little bit. But I will continue once I have that done. Okay, okay, YouTube. Back again. Ugh. Getting too old for this shit, Riggs. As they would say, and lethal weapon. Um, so I got my fabric here. I have it laid out. I figure I'll kind of do this here. I'm not going to, again, go through every little part of this. But basically, I have it laid down. I cut a little bit extra. Kind of want to get that centered on there. Um, and then we're going to just kind of tack around. What I usually do, we're going to start on opposite ends. 
and then opposite ends and we just keep working our way back. So I got my handy dandy power stapler here. What we'll do here, bring the first one over. And, and we're not going for tightness yet, taunt. We're just gonna bring it over, throw a staple in it. Gonna go around this side. Now, now we're gonna go a little bit tighter. We'll pull it here, like that. Not too tight, just a little bit. And throw a staple in it. Now we're on this side. And again, not tight yet. Pull the staple. And we'll go on to this side. So, a little bit taut, tight, taut, tight, taut, taut. Can't even talk today. And we throw a staple in it. So, I'll keep following that process all the way around. End to end, end to end. I'll throw, actually, I'll start here again. I'll throw another one in and I'll go about six inches away, four to six inches away, here and here. And I'll go on this side, four to six inches away. And I'll actually fill in later where I have one about every inch. Um, about here. Right. And, and for this project, we're just using pine. Uh, I wasn't spending a lot of money. Obviously, it'll be on the ceiling. I don't need oak. I mean, I'd never get the staples in if it was oak. Uh, you know, some people might choose to use poplar. Uh, again, I just think it's wasted money at this point. I will say this, though. On my screen, DIY screen, which is a similar process, I used pine. Biggest mistake I made. Um, for the size of that screen, for how wide it is, as the wood dried out and the temperature fluctuations down here in the winter, um, it started to distort its shape, um, curve. So, I think a lot of it has to do with. Um, just that it's cheap wood. It's not very strong wood anyway. So I would suggest using a better wood. Um, I'm actually one of the next projects I'm going to do, and it just doesn't end here. Um, I'm going to buy a screen. We're going to buy an acoustically transparent 150 inch screen. I don't know by who. I don't have a gigantic budget. I've seen them for under a thousand bucks between the five hundred and a thousand dollar mark. So something along those lines, metal frame, that'll kind of keep its shape. Um, and I'm going to put it on a hinge because every time I have to take this down, I need to call somebody in, my girlfriend or, or her son, to help me take it down. But back to this. I'm going to just continue around um, on all three of them. So the next time I see you, they'll be, they'll be done at least as far as the upholstering goes. Catch you in a few minutes, YouTube. All right. Back again. All right, so over here we've got the panel upholstered. You can kind of see it here. Oh, there's a spider crawling on it. Um, but it's it's a black velvet. Now what I'm going to do is open one of these up, like I did on the last one. Um, we'll stick the the lights across the top. I'll put the insulation in. I'm going to put a small cross brace in the top um, to attach the, uh, I guess it would be the outlet, the pot, like the, the regulator, the power regulator, right? I'm not much of an electrician, so I don't know what I'm talking about, but just so we can attach everything to. Um, then we'll put the hooks in. I'll measure out on the ceiling on whichever spot I'm going to stick it. And um, the corresponding spot on the ceiling for the hooks. And we'll do another one. Uh, each one of these took me about, I don't know, 20 minutes to do the upholstering. It took me about, oh God, maybe 10 minutes to put these together after I cut the wood. 
Um, I've been taking breaks. We do have company today, and again, it's it's 92, 93 degrees out. We're we're, we're day four or five of the heat wave here, so. Um, but yeah, that'll be my next project. All right, YouTube. All right. There's another one. Okay, got the first one up, completed. Still got to figure out how to use it. Um, right now I just have it where it's cycling through a fade of different colors. But it looks all right. <clears throat> I like it. Definitely a pain in the ass, <laughs> but I like it. All right. Here we are. We got the three sets up. One, two, three. Mistakes were made. <laughs> But, we turn the lights down. Right now the uh, the lights are set for um, multicolor, fade in, fade out. So it's a pretty cool effect. I think if we were doing some serious movie watching, obviously that's not going to be on. But maybe if you're just listening to some tunes, you turn the lights up. Um, obviously if you're listening to some tunes or just kind of relaxing having some people over it might not be a big thing uh, don't mind me I'm a mess I've been going all day uh, I'm gonna do a little better video later but we're gonna put all this together uh, I haven't done a video in a while for YouTube uh, really it's just been I kind of got back to work it's been insane working 12 hours a day plus I'm doing some remodeling in the house I got contractors coming next week we ripped the yard up, putting patios in, and everything else. So it's been pretty busy with time and money and balance here. So I really haven't had the time for the YouTube thing. But I want to get back to it. So the panels were kind of a today project. Uh, I think I spent, eh, I'm going to say with the wood, the material was about $130. Uh, some hooks, anchors, the, 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 the lights. The whole thing probably comes in at three to 400 bucks. Uh, maybe around 300 bucks. Uh, took a day, better part of a day to do. Well, like I said, mistakes were made. Uh, I was trying to find the center of the room. Uh, at the, at the, the front panel, I kind of centered between the lights, which isn't the center of the room. Uh, and this the back one, I centered off the, the post for the, for the mount for the uh, projector, which isn't the center of the room. The lens is the center of the room, so that one's off three inches. And then this one I said it was a projector. So each one of them is kind of off a little bit. But when you're sitting here, you really don't notice it. Uh, at least I didn't notice it. Uh, but yeah, it's coming along. Next project, who knows? Maybe speakers. We've got to see. I want to do some uh, new speakers in the front. Uh, DIY Sound Group. I emailed them right now. They're, they're moving uh, between uh, locations and warehouse. So we're going to put this off maybe uh, a, little, a little farther in the summer when I probably have my dad helping with this because it, this house I have doesn't really have a workshop area in it. I kind of do everything in the carport again. This house is a project in motion, you know, the garages, the counter, everything else. But for now, I'm just working on it. Uh, so for now, hey, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe. You know the drill. Hopefully, we'll see you in some more videos real soon. Have a happy uh, holiday and enjoy your summer.